as Japanese armies advanced through Burma to take India in the spring of 1944. They met resistance from British forces determined to push them back. Japan's goal of conquest instead became a retreat which took the lives of 50,000 men. Ron Tingey was a private in the 36th Division of the British Army, here on the battlefront. In early 1942, Chinese forces defending themselves from the Japanese under the leadership of American General Joe Stilwell are soundly defeated. I claim we got a hell of a beating. We got to run out of Burma. It's humiliating as hell. I think we ought to find out what caused it, go back and retake the place. It would be two years before American forces could accomplish this. Early in 1944, Japan begins its last drive of the war into India. On March 6th, the vanguard of Japan's army crosses the Chindwin River in Burma, opposite the Imphal Plains of India. Within a few days, 80,000 Japanese troops are making the long trek toward the towns of Imphal and Kohima on the Indian side of the border. The average Japanese soldier in Burma on the front lines in late 1943 or early 1944, was well trained. By Japanese standards, he was well equipped. He was a tough soldier and followed orders. The problem for the Japanese in Burma was not the infantrymen. The problem was their high command. Lieutenant General Mutaguchi Renya was likely insane. Mutaguchi was a type of officer who loved a brawl. He loved, literally, the blood and guts of warfare. General Mutaguchi's attack on Imphal and Kohima was to be completed before the onset of the rainy season in Burma, which would be the end of May of 1944. Mutaguchi was obsessed with this operation, and he pushed hard for it. He pushed his troops mercilessly because he wanted to conclude the campaign within three months. Japanese Lieutenant Mutaguchi's plan to attack less than two months before the monsoon rains carries considerable risk. If the Japanese are not victorious before the middle of May, they can become trapped. One to ten inches of rain a day falls during that time. It washes out the mountain trails behind them and floods entire valleys preventing a line of retreat. Japanese supply lines will be cut until October. There is very little time for delay. Tough troops from India in the British Army helped defend their country. The Japanese regard for the Indian troops within the British Army was quite low. They were contemptuous of most so-called colonial armies, although the Indian formations in the British Army fought quite well during the war. But the Japanese held most of their enemies in contempt, British or Indian. But even with Indian troops, the British forces are routed. By early April, the situation around Imphal is critical, and it's worse at Kohima. British General William Slim calls up more troops from southern India to strengthen his army in the north. Ron Tingey is a private in the Royal Sussex Infantry under General Slim. They trained us well in India. I had three months jungle training and with a real stuff flying about, you know, give you some idea, but Burma's a different place to India. But my job was, look after the brain gun and all that, automatic weapon. And we went in as an infantry battalion. The first job we did, we were taking a place called Hill 60. We got pinned down there for hours, we were red hot. And then we see the bombs come over, I see the bombs come out, and they blew the hill up, it went up, and we took the hill, and all the Japs up there were blown to pieces. The Japanese launch an attack from several directions to isolate the British. 
30 miles north, they establish a strong roadblock between Imphal and Kohima. General Slim has a strategy that involves taking rectangular positions so that it's impossible for the Japanese to outflank him. The defenders also have the advantage of nearly 100% air control. British and American planes can hamper enemy troop activity and disrupt their supply lines and communication. The British benefit greatly from a combination of air power and General Slim's battle plan. By this time in the war, the Japanese army in Burma had really no air support. Many of the air squadrons had been transferred to the Pacific, uh, originally to the Solomons in New Guinea, and they really lacked any air defense against British fighters. The British in Kohima are caught short of both food and ammunition, but they are resupplied by airdrop. Since the Japanese and British positions are so close, both armies benefit from the drop. Had the Japanese had significant air power, they could have interfered with this resupply effort from the air, but as it was without air power, they were simply unable to prevent aerial resupply, which was a very important tactic and a very important development of the British in Burma during World War II. You could feel very low sometimes, and then sometimes it would feel okay. I think most of it were pretty low, because we never seemed to get a rest, if you know what I mean. By the middle of May, the British are turning the tables on the Japanese. Around Kohima, the enemy is on the defensive. In the Imphal area, air attacks and patrol activity cut off Japan's ability to resupply its troops.